हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड माय सेल्फ मिताली जिन एंड इन टुडेज सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट फंक्शन जनरेटर दिस फंक्शन जनरेटर इज ऑफ 10 मेगा हर्ट्स सो इट्स ऑर्डर कोड इज ए डब्ल्यू जी वन जीरो वन वन एफ दिस फंक्शन जनरेटर इज बेसिकली यूज टू मेजर द डिफरेंट फंक्शन सच एज साइन साइन रेक्टेंगुलर ट्राइंगुलर एंड मेनी मोर सो वी कैन मेजर द different parameters of uh, these waveforms by using this waveform generator so for that we have used this function generator with that we have used this oscilloscope to read the waveform on this scope this is our function generator it is basically of 10 megahertz and uh, uh, you can see it's this is its display so the display for the user interface then after that these there are five buttons which are basically menu selection button f1 f2 f3 f4 and f5 they are activated the corresponding menus then after that these are the num number keys input parameter include the number point plus as you can see that plus minus decimal and after that this is the knob so this knob changes the current highlighted numbers also can be used to select file location or switch the character of soft keyboard when entering the file name then after that these are the direction keys it moves the cursor of focused parameter of or select the file location then after that the, there are three buttons this is save utility and help save button is basically used to manage the waveform and file system utility button sets the auxiliary system function and help button view the built in help information then after that this is the output key it activate and deactivate the output signal then after that as we have learned about the output then after that there is a main output terminal and uh, uh, there are foot tools and you can see that uh, there are three modes mode sweep and burst mode is basically modulation only uh, it generates the modulated waveform burst is uh, it generates it generates the burst for sine square ram pulse and arbitrary waveform and sweep this is sweep it basically generates the uh, sine square and ram waveform and it basically sweep these waveforms so there are different waveforms such as you can see this is sine this is a square this is a ramp this is pulse this is noise and this is arbitrary waveform so th through these waveforms you can select the uh, waveform which waveform you want and this is the turn on and turn off button so this is all about the front panel of this function generator not talking about its back panel uh, like its rear panel so there are different functions so you can see this is the power socket then after that here we will insert the fuse then after that this is a power switch here is here is its switch is between 100 volt to 220 volt then after that this is the usb connector and there are three modes such as here we can connect the external mode it's for ref cik counter in and it's for exter external triggering and burst in F fsk in so this is the rear panel of the function generator so i have already power on the supply so you can press this button and switch on the supply so as you can see now we will let uh, let's have a description about this display so its display consists of this is the frequency range this is the parameter 1 and it displays the parameter and edit the focus parameter then here you can see that there are sign and uh, it's basically defines that the current signal type or the mode and you can see in these so there are the settings menu of current signal or mode then after that this is offset so it's basically parameter displays the parameter and edit the focus parameter then after that this is the amplitude and as you can see that uh this is the amplitude we have discussed and you can see this is the uh, displayed current waveform if we select the sine so sine waveform will be displayed and if we will select the square so square waveform will be selected if we select the ramp so ramp waveform will be 
displayed and after that you can see there are the values mentioned such as this is the offset value this is the amplitude and here they have mentioned the load high z which represent the high resistance so and you can see that in this the waveform is also mentioned as i have told that this function generator operates at 10 megahertz so this is 10 megahertz which is mentioned and its sampling rate is 125 m sa per second so it's uh, it is all about the so to obtain the waveform so we will use this digital storage oscilloscope which is, which is of 50 megahertz so now first of all we will connect this probe so we will connect this to channel 1 and then we will connect this to its output then after that we will switch on the output button so you can see that here we have generated the sine wave so in this sine wave is shown so through this scale you can also uh, increase and decrease the sine wave vertically so through this you can increase and decrease the amplitude of the waveform so you can see that this is of uh, bandwidth which is mentioned and it its function you can see the frequency so we can increase and decrease the amplitude here i have run stop so this is for positioning and you can also make the changes by the function generator knob also so you can see that waveform has been shrinked so if you want to expand the waveform so you can rotate so it is it this is its limit and if you would so these are the knob to move left and right so in this way we can generate the we can get the output of the waveform so you can see that it's mentioned 50 microsecond and uh, its uh, bandwidth is also mentioned so in this way we have seen for sine wave and if you want to have the square wave so you can switch it to square wave so this is for square wave then after that this is for amp signal so you can see the waveform and all the so here the amplitude is 5 vpp and offset is 2.5 volt this is a square signal this is basically noise signal so you can see that on our function generator this is displayed and you can see that this is our noise signal then after that this is modulated signal so you can decrease increase and decrease their amplitude by rotating this knob and you can also expand and shrink the waveform by using this knob and all the steps and different functions uh, which I have already told uh, the function of each and every point which is provided in this panel so in this way uh, we can perform the different experiments and we can also uh, this function generator basically used to produce and it basically generates the different types of waveforms so you can see that there are many options such as this is for sine wave this is for square wave rectangular wave this is for uh, ramp signal this is for square signal so this is for noise signal so different different waveform you can generate through this function generator and you can also note the uh, different functions so this is whole setup and in the in this way we can perform the different experiments also hence this is all about today's session for further query you can contact to tesco technologies private limited and you can also refer to our user manual Thank you for watching the video.